everyone, my name is Zirai from Team Hackers One, and I'm gonna today I'm gonna show you how to implement custom sprites into your ROM hack. So what we're gonna do is yeah, this is the page of Team Hackers. We're gonna go to smwcentral.net and we're gonna download some tools first of all. The first one you wanna download is if you scroll down right here. You're gonna find. You're gonna find. You're gonna find. Let me see. Am I just blind or no? I scrolled over it here. Sprite tool version 135. Inserts custom sprites into your SMW ROM. So you're gonna download that. And also, if you never implemented any music, sprites, or blocks into your ROM, uh, the other thing you wanna download is called Luna Expand. So just download this as well to show you okay so we're just gonna unzip the sprite tool file have it here unzip the Luna Expand file as well and I just put the Luna Expand into the sprite folder and I now you need a well you need your ROM hack and I need a clean ROM so just wait a second while I get one there we go. Okay, paste it here. I'll just leave it that way. And yeah, first of all, open Luna Expand. If your ROM is still still the normal size of 513 kilobytes, so you will want to select at least one megabyte right here, 8 Mbit. Then you go to Apply to ROM and choose your ROM, which is minus this one. ROM has been expanded. Now you'll see this has one megabyte of size right now. Okay, so next you're gonna have to uh, decide on how to on which sprite you want to implement. For because it's easier, I'm just gonna choose one from those that are already in the package, which you see here in the sprites folder. But you can also download them from SMW Central in the custom sprites section. And yeah, this isn't really anything different from the ones we have already here. So, as you just see here, we have an ASM file and a CFG file for everything. And you'll see, we'll just, if you go on them, they'll have a description on what they do, everything, if you open the ASM file with Notepad. So, we're just gonna go ahead and implement the Hammer Brother that tie this time. So, remember the file name of the CFG is the important thing. And my phone is ringing. Sorry about that, I cut it out. So yeah, back to that. We remembered this. And now we're gonna open the sprites.txt. And you see some of them are already here. If you just leave them there, the game will implement them. Uh, the tool will implement them to your game. If you do not want that, just delete them all. Now, uh, put in a hex number. Um, I uh, suggest something from 20 to 40 because those are, I don't know, the best to implement them. I'll just choose 22. Then you put the name of the CFG next to it after a space. So we'll have Hammer Bro CFG. Save this. And now we're gonna open the sprite tool.exe. We enter the ROM file on. For me, this is. Wait, that's too long. Let's just call it test. Because I don't want. Okay, let's test and then add SMC and the sprite list file name, which is sprites.txt for us. And yeah, sprite insert successfully. You will get that if you didn't do anything wrong. So we push it run and close this. And now the ham brothers already implemented into our ROM. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna open Luna Magic. And we're not gonna go here, but here and open this test. Let's check I don't think that's anything bad. No. Alright, so now we are gonna select the sprite thing, the shell. So we have we are in sprite mode. And I'll just delete all this because I don't want it on the screen right now. And we're gonna press insert. And we'll have this. Okay, so the comment is the Thing you put in the sprites.txt, so we put 22 here. So we're gonna in the comments section, we're gonna put 22. Screen number and XY positions are self-explanatory, I think. 
and extra info. So that's something important as well. We're gonna go to sprites again and open the Hammer Bro SM again. And this is the thing you want to read and remember, because this is important. Here it'll say, uses first extra bit, no. Because it says no, we're gonna put the uh, 2 in here. If it would say yes, though, we would put a 3 there. So, no 2, yes 3. And yeah, there we go. So now we have this weird looking sprite. But it doesn't matter, all the sprites you implement will look glitched in Luna Magic. So you just put it there, save the ROM. And I'm pressed F4 to test it. Just fast forward through all this. I forgot to turn the sound off, but I don't care right now. So we go to the stage and we'll see that I went to the wrong one. And we'll see that we have a hammer brother. Though it looks really screwed up. But it's a normal hammer brother. So yeah. To fix the screwed upness we're gonna have to implement XGFX. So in case you don't know how to do that, I'll just explain that too. So first of all, you wanna click on those, this mushroom, this mushroom, and this mushroom. Okay, if you push on this, you'll get no XGFX uh, present in the ROM. Yeah, so, but now in the folder where your ROM is, you should get this new folder, XGraphics. It's empty, yeah. So since we did the Hammer Brother right now, we want to go to the, to the Tile Maps folder right here. And it'll have some for us. Not for all the enemies, but for some. And we, of course, want the Hammer Bros one. And we're gonna put it to the X Graphics folder. And remember this right here, SP3, you want to remember this. But now you want to rename it to XGFX and any number from 80 upwards. I'm just gonna put 80 because I didn't implement anything else yet. Now we're gonna go to the ROM and press the yellow mushroom which is quick insert XGFX to ROM. I hope that didn't screw anything up yet. No, no it didn't. Now we're gonna go to the red mushroom which is, which is super XGFX bypass. We're gonna check this right here and as you remember it said SP3 for us, for our hammer, br hammer brother which is this one right here, SP3. You see SP1, 2, 3 and 4. Since the Hammer Brother was 3, we're gonna change the SP3 thing to the number of uh, that we put after XGFX. Since we put 80 right here, we're gonna change it to 80 and press OK. As you see, nothing changed. But now, if we're gonna test the run and go to this level again, voila, a perfect Hammer Brother. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, that's about all. You can of course also download r sprites from the SMW Central the sprite section. For example, I did this one. There you also have the XGFX file, which is already named C1, for example, here. So you sh could put C1 there. We have the ASM file, we have the CFG file, and we have even have a README. So yeah, that's about all. If you didn't understand anything, just tell tell me and one of us will just respond to your comment and explain you how to do it most of the time otherwise just read through all the other comments so maybe already someone asked that question yeah so that's about it thank you all for watching hope this helped and i'll see you next time